It's a bird. It's a plane. It's another great game. Sun Man. Are we ever going to talk about Sun Man? Maybe. Pond Jack. A tech on arcade game from 1984. Various locations throughout the world have been riddled with bombs, and it's up to Jack to collect them all while swarms of enemies try to take him out. He has a super jump that allows him to soar to great heights, and he can slow his descent on the way down with the jump button. With such great precision and jump control, Jack's adversaries won't make things easy. But if Jack collects enough bombs, a power coin will start floating around the area, which he can collect to change all the enemies into coins for a short while. Jack can pick these coins up for extra points and to clear the way for him. Speaking of points, there's a neat way you can score big. After Jack collects the first bomb, one of the others will have a lit fuse. There's a specific order that the bombs are laid out in that's indicated by whichever one is a lit fuse, and collecting at least 20 bombs in the correct order will net you a super bonus after finishing the level. Very satisfying stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if Jack Sloan and his descent inspired those power-ups in Super Mario Bros. 3. And maybe his super jump inspired Kirby's high jump ability. The game features very bouncy and lively music, matching well with the game's quick action. In fact, two of the tracks are covers of licensed songs. One of them is the end credits theme from the Mrs. Pepperpot anime. The other is the classic Beatles song, Lady Madonna. Later re-releases of the original Bomb Jack arcade game either cut these songs out or replaced them with songs composed for the game's sequel, Mighty Bomb Jack, since they couldn't retain the rights. Well, it's far from the worst rights settlement in gaming. Oh, what's up, guys? Not much, just talking about Bomb Jack. Sweet! Bomb Jack was a hit in arcades, leading to plenty of home versions in the following years. Techcom would rename to Tecmo in 1986 and begin developing for the home console market. Their first home game would be the aforementioned sequel Mighty Bomb Jack on the Famicom and NES, which also had an arcade version in Japan via the Nintendo Versus system. The game took Bomb Jack's design and turned it into a scrolling game, riding off of the success of Nintendo's Super Mario Bros. There are even sections of the game that play similarly to the original, and I commend them for honoring the game's roots that way. Another sequel, Bomb Jack Twin, would come to arcades in 1993 thanks to NMK. It plays more akin to the original, as to be expected, now with the added bonus of co-op multiplayer. Very nice. It's always more fun with a friend. With such precise controls and fun action, Bomb Jack is still revered as a classic, and rightfully so. Jack even cameoed in one of Tecmo's most beloved games, Tecmo Super Bowl, in 1991. If you haven't tried it already, you're in for a real treat. And you've got plenty of great options to play it. And remember, the only way we lose is if we give up. Stay safe.